Welcome to Sigaphasia 2018 in Tokyo. This year we have the conference theme crossover, which means uh, we can show you a new and mutual interaction among art, technology, industry and academia. So I'm always looking for ways that we can learn about the latest computer technology and bring it into what we do at JPL. But we are looking at flying now optical communication technology, lasers that will be able to do megabits per second from Mars and be eventually able to stream real-time video from the surface of Mars. That's what we're aiming for in the future, to try and really connect what's out there in space to what's here on the Earth. Uh, it's a lot of fun to uh, see the, the graphics computer graphics uh, universe in reaction to my talk and there are a lot of uh, connections between computational origami work that I talked about and graphics. I'm pretty excited about maybe some collaboration opportunities. We had lots of good storytelling, also many research projects this year. So this is like a combination of the whole technology together in the one uh, like the emerging media. It really brings together industry thought leaders to explore VR on the fringes, meaning you know very much in the theme of Crossroads, sort of seeing all of the crazy and amazing things that you can do with immersive technology. Recently, uh, deep learning or novel kind uh, machine learning technique is uh, where we're emerging. We'd like to apply that kind of technique in virtual reality field or computer graphic field, build up innovative or interaction techniques based on machine learning. Seagraph Asia Computer Animation Festival is celebrating its 11th edition this year. Uh, and it, it continues to be a popular program within Seagraph because it showcases the very best of digital rendered shorts uh, covering a wide array of topics and genres in a very concise manner. The tools that are used signifying something, a new occurrence that's relevant to current times. With uh, the theme of force fields, uh, we uh, br brought in two curated pieces, one uh, the No Mask and the other one this masterpiece by Nanjing Pai called uh, Candle TV. What we came up with was the idea to create two extreme poles, opposite so to say, opposite in medium, opposite in technology, opposite in time, opposite in appreciation. To kind of mediate the context in conversation with uh, the artworks from the open call this year. The SIGGRAPH Posters program is best known for having a lot of really original experimental content. Ideas that are not ready for paper submissions, but the ideas are really impactful and the submitters want to get some feedback. It is the first time for us to hold real-time live at SIGGRAPH Asia. Real-time live is a real-time demonstration. We want to know the latest trends and cutting-edge technologies from real-time live programs. Asia 2019 that will be held in Australia and Brisbane. I hope you are enjoying SIGGRAPH Asia 2018 and start working on your submissions. See you next year!